about all the collectible media ace and as you can see a little change of scenery <laughs> for this video such a nice day it seemed to pity to waste it and sit inside so i thought i'd bring it all out into the garden and onto my deck in um yeah so basically i was asked i've been asked by a few people actually over the last sort of weeks and months whatever why why are youtube why why do i do it and i felt I wanted to do a really a video on on the answer to that because it's not just a very simple straightforward answer and for me i suppose i started thinking about seriously thinking about doing a youtube channel back when we were in the lockdowns and at the time i was watching a lot of youtube myself anyway especially because i was selling my court of the dead collection off and i knew i was moving into the prime one lord of the rings and it was sort of i was kicking off a lot of ideas and things that i wanted to do and was watching a lot of youtube channels at the time uh you know i was watching all sort of the main ones so you know the the mce batman Sachi collector rat titan and i was watching a sort of a few other um youtubers as well which weren't actually statues these were i can remember i was watching um Jedi patrol quite a bit and he was actually doing a lot of funko pops at the time back then and slowly moving into six scale there was just his collectibles which was just six scale and there was a guy in new york and i think he's got a shop and he looks like a little wizard he's got like a little ginger beard and he i've never seen anyone so sort of excited and passionate about what they do and he, he was predominantly just funko pops and i really used to see how enjoy seeing how into his hobby this guy was and how every single thing he got so much enjoyment out of it and I sort of began thinking then that I, I reckon I could do that. I reckon I could do a YouTube channel. And I kind of wanted the challenge as well. That was the thing for me because everything I've done when in past times, uh, hobbies I've had in the past, I've always committed to it full bore and just try to be as good as I can be. And through doing that, I, I sort of made a bit of a name for myself in those fields as well. And it was like, as much as I enjoyed collecting, it was very static. I apologise, my chair creaks like that. Um, <laughs> it was very sort of static because you wait for a piece to come out and then you pre-order it and then you wait 12, 18 months, two years, however long for it to eventually be delivered, you know, and then in the meantime, in the interim, it's a lot of looking at other pieces that are coming out, what other people are getting, chatting on Facebook groups or on forums. But, you know, there was nobody in my sort of immediate life that do what I do so it was all tied to that really and it just wasn't enough for me I needed more plus I'd sort of sold all my Court of the Dead collection while this while I was going through this sort of transition and I was waiting for the Prime One Lord of the Rings stuff to come along so yeah and, and I can remember I was chatting with somebody at work I think about it and they, they were like you should do it you should have a go but it wasn't until Sauron arrived and I posted some pictures on the No DC, No Marvel group. And I think it was Simon who said to me, it might have been Chris, I can't remember if Simon or Chris said to me, you want to do a video of that, do a quick video review of it and stick it, stick it on the page because it'll be a lot better. So I did what is the first video on this on this channel. And one of them just said, do you want to start on YouTube, mate? That, that's good enough to go on YouTube. And, and, and I did. And, and that was the start, really, of, of all this. And... You know, so from there being, having thought about it for a long time and then sort of just going for it and jumping in the deep end, I didn't know how to edit. I had no, I think I had a mediocre tripod. Um, I had no microphones, no idea of editing. I mean, I'm not brilliant at it now, but I've, at least I'm slowly learning. And so I just sort of jumped in with, with two feet. And here I am now, nine months later, the channel is literally just a few days over nine months old. And... You know, we're, we're just shy of 700 subscribers, which is fantastic. I get so much interaction now with you guys, uh, you know, through comments and messages. You know, that's absolutely fantastic. And that is such a massive reward for me because this, this channel isn't monetized. I don't get any money for this. I do this. It's all free. The giveaways are, it's my money. I, I buy them and, and send them out. You know, I'm not sponsored. I haven't got a Patreons or anything like that. Um, but that interaction I get with you guys is superb, absolutely fantastic. And I really appreciate it, which is why I always try and message each and every one of you and, and reply to your comments whenever I get them. And 
on top of that, uh, you know, in the past I did, some months back now, I did that collaboration with Ryan at Cyber Hobbit and me and him still chat now and again, because he's obviously very busy with work in his channel. And, you know, in, in the last sort of few weeks, I've had Mike has invited me to appear on his live stream on his on his channel, which is Collectors Enabled, which I'm doing next week, next Tuesday, I think it is actually. So if you haven't done so, hop over and check out Mike's channel. And likewise, Chase messaged me just a few days ago and invited me to, to go on his his live stream as well, which is Pain Collectibles. So again, if you haven't done so already, nip over and have a look at their videos, and I'm sure they'd love to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to their channel. Um, you know, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. So that's again to me, that will be another new thing for me because I haven't done that before. I did say I did the collab with Ryan, but I've not sat and done a live stream. Mike, Chase, and I must warn you, there's no filter on me. I edit my videos a lot. There's no filter here. I'm very blunt and open and honest, so I apologise. You've been warned. So, especially if I start going on a rant. Um, so yeah, you know, so that, that's, again, that's another thing. That's another huge thing that I'm so appreciative of. I really appreciate that. And it's such an accomplishment to have got to the point in such a short space of time now I've got so many of you now who, who message and contact me and now I'm getting invited onto other YouTube channels. That's, that's fantastic. And obviously, on top of all that, you know, here I am talking about statues, predominantly Lord of the Rings. And you can't get more Lord of the Rings statues than, than Wet a Workshop. You know, Wet a Workshop, who worked on the films and everything else. And as, as some of you know, a few weeks ago, I got an email off Richard Taylor, the CEO of Wetter Workshop. I mean, that I'm still to this day and blown away by that to think that the content that I've banged out is being watched by by those guys at Wetter, and it was good enough that Richard sort of reached out and, and contacted me personally. You know, that that is just superb. So for me, at the start, it was. The challenge and having something else having something else attached to my passion for, for collecting but now that's still there that challenge is still there obviously but now it's so much more because it's the interaction and building a sort of a, a community around the channel and being involved in, in other youtubers as well and on their channels and getting to know these guys and having you know people that you, you, you can talk to about it and be involved with and, and supporting each other as well that's the main thing is supporting all these other channels and yeah that it's all that it's all encompassing that and that for me is why i do it <laughs> so i kind of hope that's answered the question um <laughs> because i've detracted so much as i do as i do but yeah i do it because i love doing it basically i love there is so much reward for me now in this because of you lot and because of the other like being invited on to two of the channels is, is a huge bonus receiving emails from statue companies is, is a huge bonus but yeah you know and i say it's not not even anywhere not even a year yet and, and all this is happening so i can't wait to see what happens in the future what potentially could happen in the future i am going to when we get to a thousand subscribers, I have told myself, um, if we get to a thousand subscribers, I have told myself that I'm going to try and notch things up a little bit. Obviously, we're doing the giveaway, but I'm, I'm going to do try and do a little bit more, go a little bit further with the channel. So I'm still sort of thinking how and what. So yeah, we'll see on that one. Um, but yeah, so I hope I hope that's answered the question. You know what I'm like answering questions, you know. I can't do a simple yes or no. I have to waffle on for 20 minutes. So anyway, guys, listen, uh, I'm hoping Legolas will be shipped in the next sort of few days because I'm off next week. So that would be really handy if he, if he is because we can get the unboxing video done. As always, thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anything you want to say about this video or anything else, show it in the comments. You know, I'd love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, uh, or you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel because that would be absolutely ace. <sighs> it's baking hot. Have a great week, all of you. 
I will catch you all on the next video whenever that is and until then cheers as always for watching and I'll speak to you all very soon. Ta-ra a bit.